Hi everyone, it's great to see you today. I want to talk today about a race that I did when I was in school. I probably wasn't paying attention, I was probably chatting with my friends as a naughty pupil when my teacher will have given the exact instructions about the race. The instructions would have been that the race was 1500 metres, which means you take it slow and steady, you conserve your energy and you take it gently and you do your laps and then you finish the course. I thought she had said 400 metres. So when she said, ready, steady, go, I shot off from the starting blocks and was running at quite a fast pace. I looked behind my shoulder and I thought, I'm going to win this race. Everyone was so far behind me. I was getting really, really excited. Well, I did two laps and of course I started to lag in my energy and I was really then at the back of the pack. And of course the inevitable happened. I did not win the race far from it because I was quick off the starting blocks and I burnt myself out. There's an Aesop's fable about the tortoise and the hare. I don't know if you've heard that story. Tortoise and a hare were having a race. The hare was running super fast, super confident, quick off the starting block, shot off and in fact left the tortoise far behind because he was at a slow and steady pace. The hare was so confident he was going to win, he even took a rest and took a sleep, thinking the tortoise will never catch me up. The moral of the story is that the tortoise won the race, simply because slow and steady is the best pace. Don't ever fear those who are quick off the starting blocks. Don't ever fear those who seem like they're high achievers, who are fast acting, who really, really seem to get things done. Slow and steady often wins the race. The Apostle Paul says in the book of Philippians that we're in a race, we're in the race of life. And he says to us that what we need to do is finish the course, keep the faith and then receive a crown of righteousness, which God will give us for completing the race. The main thing is that we will get there. Slow and steady will win the race. You might feel today that you're flagging a bit, that you're lagging behind, that you're not as good as other people, that you're not going to get there. How am I going to get there? I want to say to you today, slow and steady will win the race. Keep the faith. Keep an eye on that finishing line. Know that you are not alone. You can run this race. Slow and steady will win the day. Have a great day, everyone. Lots of love. God bless you.